DaVinci Resolve for noobs. Asad Ali asked me, hey Daniel, I'm working on a project and I was in the color page. I created a mask using Magic Mask. I'm trying to add a second mask and it doesn't seem to let me. Need help. I got you, pal. I've run into the same problem myself. Let's go over to the color page. And with our singular color node selected, let's do this for the free users here. Let's grab this, move this upward. I'm going to select the power window. I'm going to select the pen tool and let's draw a mask using the corners of this window pane. Now, don't worry if you don't get your mask perfect, you can always zoom in and you can move those corner keys where you'd like to get them so they're a little bit better. That's close. Now, if you notice, we're not seeing our mask, even though you can kind of see what's going on in the color node. So we need to right click, we need to add an alpha output and connect the blue dot to the alpha output. That gives us our mask, except it's the wrong way. I want to remove the window, not mask everything else out. So down here, I'm going to invert that mask and there we go. Let's select tracker and let's track forward and backward. And that's going to track that window pane mask across this piece of footage. Now to add another mask that has its own independent controls, I personally prefer to add another serial node. So I'll right click, add node, add serial node, and now I have a second node right here. And this time we'll use the magic mask like he was in the studio version. I select magic mask. Let's go up to this window and I will click in the middle. Now I'm not seeing my mask because it's not connected to the alpha output. So let's do that. Let's drag it to the alpha output. Now you can see my mask. I can set that for better. If this is only a square, let's drop down the smart refine a little bit. We want to invert this mask. So it's just removing that pane. And again, let's track forward and backward. So now this node is masking out this window and and this other node is masking up the other window, but I can't see both. Whenever I try to connect them to the alpha output, one overrides the other. So what I need to do is right click in the gray area, select add a node and add a key mixer. Now I wanna just connect the blue outputs from each one of these color nodes to the key mixer, and then the output of the key mixer over to the alpha output. But you'll notice I don't see anything at all. Don't worry, come on down to this key mixer right here, click on that, and you'll see you have control of how these masks interact select this second dot from either the first or second input link and you'll see both masks appear. I can go back to the edit page and let's say I wanted to put something in each window. I'm just gonna move that up quickly and let's put a crazy rock rave house party happening in each window. Cause who doesn't want a giant house party going on inside of your apartment complex? Let me duplicate this. Let me move that down into this window. And now as we play through, you'll see both masks are showing up and there is a massive rave happening inside of this apartment complex. Sweet.